My name is Natalie Jeté and I'm an Associate Professor in Clinical Neurosciences and Community Health Sciences at the University of Calgary. As a health services researcher, I study how to make healthcare more effective, more equitable and more efficient. In other words, my ultimate goal as a researcher is to make sure that neurology patients receive timely, appropriate and cost-effective quality care. Studying how to improve neurological conditions is important to Canadians because it's been estimated that one in three or more than 10 million Canadians are affected by a brain condition. I knew I wanted to be an academic neurologist for a very long time, inspired first by my family and later by my clinical teachers. My mentors, my collaborators and my students inspire me every day. However, my patients are my greatest inspiration. There's nothing more fulfilling than the gratitude of a patient whose quality of life I've been able to improve as a result of my academic training and my research. I love what I do. My name is Carolyn Emery, and I'm the co-chair of the Sport Injury Prevention Research Centre in the Faculty of Kinesiology at the University of Calgary. My research program is in injury prevention in youth sport and recreation. So the work that I do is to identify risk factors for injury and concussion in youth sport and recreation, uh, as well as to develop and evaluate prevention strategies in this population. I think this research that I do is very important uh, in Canada because sport and recreational injury is a significant public health burden. One in three kids will seek medical attention for a sport and recreational related injury every year. There's also long-term consequences associated with this injury. In a significant portion of kids who have sustained a concussion, for example, they will go on to have post-traumatic uh, concussion syndrome. As well, kids who sustain a significant knee injury may go on to have post-traumatic osteoarthritis. What inspired me to do the research I do was probably working as a physiotherapist in pediatrics and uh, with much of my caseload being in the area of sport medicine and musculoskeletal rehabilitation. I also have a couple of teenagers who are passionate about sport and working closely with them, uh, coaching and, and uh, just watching them on the sideline. Uh, I just see the impact that injury has in, in, many of, uh, in many of these kids and so hopefully we can have an impact on uh, preventing these injuries so kids can have lifelong uh, physical activity. I'm Josephine Hill. I'm a professor in the Department of Chemical and Petroleum Engineering and uh, Canada Research Chair in Hydrogen and Catalysis at the Schulich School of Engineering at the University of Calgary. We do work in catalysts, which are substances that make reactions go faster. So you can uh, do the same reactions, but with less energy. Our work involves using catalysts for a variety of applications, including gasification. So we can take petroleum coke or coal, and we can mix those with uh, natural products from Canada, including switchgrass that are high in potassium, which is a natural catalyst. Because we can do the reactions more efficiently, there, less energy is required and therefore there's less uh, greenhouse gases being emitted. This research is significant to Canadians because we can use the feedstocks and the materials and natural resources that we have in Canada, like petroleum coke or switchgrass, and use those to convert to other products that we need, uh, synthesis gas, methane. The other aspect that we're looking at is taking biomass uh, from the province, so waste, forestry, residue that's on, left on the ground, taking that and converting that to adsorbents and using that to clean up the tailings ponds water uh, or the produced water from the oil sands operations. I've been really fortunate to work with a number of professors who are very passionate about research and that's rubbed off on me so I really love working with the students and postdocs and other collaborators talking about research and our results and planning the next experiments.